Hey guys, welcome to episode one of my walk and talk. Uh, gonna try this, see how it works out. Just kind of walk around my yard. I actually have a fairly large yard or garden as some of my British friends call it. Um, happy Friday the 13th. Uh, Tristadecophobia is a thing. People are afraid of today. They think it's evil or whatever. You know, that's fine. To each their own. I don't know. It's just a day. It's just a day. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you are having a good one. Uh, I myself am having a beautiful day. It's actually beautiful out here today. I mean, it's the sun's shining. Um, my the roosters next door are letting me know how pretty the day is. They've been going at it all day. I have a, just a few topics that I'm going to talk about. Just basically taking headlines from the news and reacting to just the headlines. Or just, just headlines. Uh, WD-40 is flying off the shelves in Michigan because people are putting it on their pumpkins so that the pumpkin looks fresher longer. Okay, so who's the first person that did this? And why? Like, oh, hey, let me take WD-40 and spray it on my pumpkin that I've just carved and see what it does. I don't know. I mean, and I'm not even trying to be funny because I'm not very funny, but who, seriously, who came up with that? Whose idea was this? If you hear, if you hear Code Brown at any Louisiana, Mississippi, or Arkansas Walmart, leave right then. So Walmart has a list of color codes that uh, mean different things. Like uh, Code Black is severe weather. Code White is an accident or an injury. Code Blue is a bomb threat. Code Red is fire. That one makes sense. Um... Code green is a hostage situation. Code orange is a chemical spill. Code Adam is a lost child. I don't know why Adam is the, I don't know. Anyway, code brown is an active shooter. That one kind of makes sense. Cause if I saw an active shooter, I probably would, it would be, I would need my brown pants. Um, entertainment news. Uh, <laughs> Travis Kelsey proposed to Tay Tay around a bunch of celebs. Um, I'm happy for them. I thought this had already happened, but apparently not. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Please uh, roast me. Uh, whatever. You, do your best. Do your worst. Do your best. Um, but yeah. So they're officially engaged now. I kind of, you know, it's wholesome in some way. Not really a huge fan of, you know, I don't really, really keep up with that stuff. But some people do. Um, Oasis is going on tour in Europe. This is not new. Not new information. But um, it's it's a thing. And I have never really been that big into Oasis. They're one of my uh, probably top five most overrated bands in my head. Um, in my little world. But, you know, we'll, we'll get to some of that stuff later or in, in a minute um netflix is coming out with mind hunter season three i loved mind hunter it's the one where there's a, a guy and he's going around you know searching for serial killers and whatnot it's just it was just good i just enjoyed it and season three is about to come out so that'll be fun um, anybody like Mindhunter or you have any other Netflix suggestions or not just Netflix, but, you know, streaming suggestions, put them down below for everyone to, uh, to take part in, to share. And, uh, wow, it's sunny. It's a beautiful day, y'all. I mean, it is just beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. And I live between two fairly small airports, so there's always these little planes going back and forth. Um, and... I live about a 15 minute drive from Bentonville, which is the Walmart home office, um, hence the Walmart humor. Um, and 
there are a lot of execs that have they there's a there's a um, an antique uh, fighter pilot club thing whatever where they buy old fighter planes restore them and then fly them around the area so you'll you'll see like a I don't I forgive me I don't know any of the names of them but you'll you'll see randomly uh, a, a prop a propeller plane flying that's like you know looks like what you would see from world war ii or world war one or whatever i don't even know what they what what era they are but some they're they're really cool and some of them sometimes they'll go in packs of two or three or whatever it's just it's just pretty cool um l mcpherson who is 60 by the way l mcpherson is 60 and she's still gorgeous um she hung up on a radio show after being asked a question about Australian politics, like who she's voting for, or I forget how, how they worded it. It was like, is she, uh, you know, uh, do you, even though you're uh, in, a, in a foreign land or however they worded it, um, do you still keep up with and vote uh, in Australia? And she, she, I'm, she hung up on them because she, you know, she didn't want to discuss that stuff. I don't blame her. I don't like to get caught up in political uh conversations either just because i'm it's just not something i like to talk about i'm not interested in it i mean i anyway doesn't matter uh here are 10 of the most hated rock bands by critics but you probably love them captain beefheart and his magic band never heard of them i'll probably have to check them out aerosmith love aerosmith very good live Kiss, also very good live. Metallica, also very good live. Uh, Guns N' Roses, have not been able to see them, but I like Guns N' Roses. U2, they're huge. I saw them in Kansas City with uh, with Muse. Oh my God, just huge. Just, just, ha critics hate them? Uh -huh. The Velvet Underground? How could you hate the Velvet Underground? Like this sticks, Six is amazing live. And I could see where critics don't like them, Kinda. I'm just coming from somebody who went to school for music and and was a professional musician for a while, and uh, you know did audio engineering, um, mixed live music for quite some time, and built large audio systems. Um, Creed. <laughs> tell you how I feel, tell you how I feel about Creed. Um, somebody offered me free tickets to go see Creed the other night here. Uh, it's two exits on the freeway from my house <clears throat> and I said no I'd rather I'd, I'd rather stay at home and wash my hair <laughs> anyway uh, and Nickelback so I have a thing with Nickelback um, my friends think it's funny to because I don't like the band my friends think it's funny to buy me and my name is Nick to buy buy Nick a Nickelback CD and so for years, birthday, Christmas, freaking whatever, my friends have bought me Nickelback CDs. <sighs> Anywho, that's all of the, the news that I have for today. But I do have a question, and I, I'm curious your answer, and I'll give you my answer. Do you put your pants or your socks on first? Like, do you put your pants on and then put your socks on? Or do you put your socks on and then put your pants on? It's a silly question, but one to ponder because you would be shocked how many people put their pants on before their socks. That's crazy to me because you have to lift your pants leg up to put your socks on. I like long socks. Sorry, I don't do the no-show stuff. I just don't. Um, I just don't. That's me, and that's okay. And if you do that way, do it that way and you like doing it that way, keep doing it that way. Uh, who cares? Don't, don't care what I think. Don't care what anybody else thinks. You be you. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> for, as for a stupid joke, I'll tell a stupid joke. Um, <laughs> why did the peanut call the cops? Because it was assaulted. Sorry about that one. Okay. Bye-bye.